Today I'm making a video response to Nuts or Fancy and it's reasons why I don't like ni the 1911 and I've written them here and I'll go over them one by one and I have proof of why I don't like the 1911. Now the first one is it's heavy. It's a heavy gun man. I mean it's just just big and heavy. Um, you know I got little hands so I mean it, it's like I can't even get my my fingers all the way around to the end of the grip so it's it's just a big heavy gun and uh, you know if you dropped it on your foot or something it could really hurt second thing I don't like about the 1911 is it's the, the big bullet I mean this thing's huge look at that thing compared to like a 22 I mean this thing is huge and so there's there's problems that come with the big bullet and the first one is there's just too much recoil I mean there's a lot of powder in there and you can really hurt yourself shooting this thing and, and you can cause a malfunction if if you can't hold it tight enough take a look I think I left breasted it. So we'll see. See what I mean? That's a lot of recoil, right? So the other thing about the big bullet and the big recoil is that it's not accurate. Um, now I was shooting this thing the other day and you can see how inaccurate it is. I was all over the place. Take a look. Camera doesn't lie, right? The third thing I don't like about, well, in the same big bullet problem, um, the other problem is uh, it makes a big mess. When you hit something, it just like splatters guts everywhere. Uh, take a look at what I did for the, to this watermelon. See, after you shoot somebody in the head, you got a lot of cleaning to do. Unlike the 22, where it just kind of goes in and makes a little hole, right? Oh, by the way, the accuracy thing, you're, you're a much better uh, at accuracy with this gun because it, there's no recoil to speak of, and, and look how accurate I can be with it. Need I say more? Well, I will. Um, the other thing is, this makes a lot of noise. So if you're gonna like shoot somebody, like in in the middle of the night or something, you're gonna wake like a whole bunch of people up with this big old loud bang, right? Whereas this little 22, uh, it's just gonna make like a firecracker pop, and people are gonna like, oh man, the damn kids are shooting off fireworks again. So they're not gonna very likely to to go look. Um, what's going on if they hear this versus this going off so I know there's a lot of things not to like about the 1911 alright moving on to number three the 1911 is is really expensive I mean you can spend up to like fifteen hundred dollars on on a 1911 now I didn't spend that much on this but I could tell you it was definitely more expensive than this 22 and to shoot heck a box of these is like I think twenty four dollars 
versus you know for a hundred rounds twenty four dollars for a hundred rounds or I can spend less sixteen dollars for five hundred and fifty rounds I can shoot all day five hundred fifty and I don't hurt my wrist um the next thing is since it is so big and heavy it's just hard to conceal I mean take a look when I do my Mexican carry see I can't walk around like that I got a big old thing sticking out I mean what good is that right but when I'm Mexican carry with my 22 see I can get it right on the belt line and you just think it's a belt right see that's the way to go baby but the thing that I dislike most about the 1911 is that it's it's just unsafe man it's unsafe because watch I can cock it right and and I can drop the magazine and it'll still go off whereas this little 22 if I drop the magazine see it won't go off even if I cock it it won't go off without the magazine so much much safer and um, what I learned the hard way was like these things are prone to just go off by themselves. Take a look. I can't anyway, uh, I've never shot with an Asian dude before, uh, so it'll be a learning experience for me and uh, Dill Hole as well. Fing oh, A! Sorry. <laughs> So there you have it. I mean, I, I can't state it any clearer than that. Uh, the 1911, you know what I'm doing? I, I, I recommend. I recommend you don't get one of these. And as a matter of fact, these things are so dangerous. Um, I'm not even going to give it away to somebody. I, you know where this is going? This is going right here in the trash. So there you have it. Why I don't like the 1911, and you shouldn't either. That's all I got. See you later.